Hey everyone, Nick back. Uh, today, I'm gonna to be discussing the dark web and compromised email credentials. Uh, so recently, a friend of mine got a text from Uber saying her Uber verification code was 1234. Uh, the reason why this was concerning is because she personally has not used Uber in many months. Uh, but when we, when we checked her recent rides, we saw that someone in the city was using her Uber account uh, to go back and forth. Uh, we know it wasn't her because she wasn't in the city at that time. Uh, the reason why this happened, um, we checked her email um, on the dark web, uh, which I'll get into in a little bit, and we saw that her email was compromised through a number of breaches. Um, if you signed up for, say, an AOL account, a Yahoo account, a Hotmail account, um, all of these email domains have been compromised at some point within the last five years. Um, so what that means is um, someone went into, uh, someone hacked into Yahoo, got all of the user uh, information, uh, emails, uh, plain text passwords, and they stole it, uh, and they then put it on the dark web. Um, either they tried to use that information themselves, uh, most of the time they will have a computer program that will take your email and password and rip through a bunch of websites such as social media, uh, banking, uh, banking websites. And once they get a hit, um, they will go in themselves and see what they can do if they can take out any money. Um, if they don't get any hits um, or if, the, if it's been a long time since the breach, uh, usually what they would do is just dump it out on the dark web for free. And basically it's kind of like a code of ethics between hackers. Um, if they release it and anyone else gets a hit, uh, and then the hacker that got the hit would, you know, give the original hacker some sort of uh, compensation. Um, not always uh, are emails compromised through uh, the email domains themselves. Sometimes it's when you sign up for a website using uh, that email. Uh, websites such as MySpace, uh, MyFitnessPal, um, Capital One, and Equifax have all been hit uh, within the last five years. Um, so if you had an email and password that you used for that site, which you also use for some important sites like banking, uh, then that is how someone can get into your account, uh, whether it's a bank site or Uber, like um, my friend's example. Uh, so how do we monitor the dark web? How do we know that your email has been compromised before it's too late? Uh, we have a tool that we use, it's called ID Agent. It's a dark web scanner. Uh, since we can't go on the dark web ourselves, I, I mean, we could, but it's not smart to do so. You you'll probably be put on the list, you know, for the US government. Uh, but what ID Agent does is it, it's a program that scans the dark web uh, for a certain email domain. Um, if it finds anywhere on the dark web a hit, uh, it'll come up um, the email domain, the password that was compromised, if it was compromised, or if it's encrypted. Um, and then it'll give us a report uh, showing um, how we got on the dark web, what is actually out there. Um, so we do this for our clients. We have um, alerts as soon as um, an email is compromised on the dark web. We'll get an alert and then we'll alert our client uh, to change the password um, as soon as possible. And that's really all you can do once your info is on the dark web. Uh, if you use that email uh, and password combination for anything important, then it's very prudent that you get on that and change that password as soon as possible. Uh, that's it for this video today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, that's it, and I'll see you again soon.